Hello there guys, it's WinClient. In this video, I'm excited to announce that Windows Vista will finally be receiving the long-awaited unofficial Service Pack 3 update. This update is currently being developed by a community member named Zemanot, whose channel will be linked in the description below. In this video, I will be showcasing an early beta version of the unofficial Service Pack 3, as well as going over some of the changes that will be included in this update. Without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, we're running Windows Vista Ultimate Service Pack 3 Beta. Service Pack 3 includes all updates for Windows Vista released up to 2019 and will automatically download and install the latest ESU update rollup for Windows Server 2008, the server counterpart of Windows Vista, which is still receiving ESU updates until 2024, all of which can be installed on Vista as well. Service Pack 3 also includes the Windows 7 versions of WordPad. As you can see here, I'll do a quick little test just to show you that it works. Paint. And calculator. If you prefer the Windows Vista versions of these applications, however, the installer for Service Pack 3, currently in development by community member .exe1337, also known as Michael, will likely have the option to pick and choose which components you would like to install. .exe's goal is to make the installer resemble something like this here, which is the installer for Vise, which brings me to Vise integration. Vise is a program which aims to change all leftover resources, mainly icons, from earlier versions of Windows, such as Windows Server 2003, the version of Windows which Vista is based on, to match the interface of Windows Vista. Service Pack 3 will include all the updated resources provided by Vise, which will make your Windows Vista experience more consistent and even more elegant than before. The most prominent example of this is the classic Start menu. Just look at the icons of the start menu in this installation here, compared to a normal Vista installation without Vise installed, shown on the right. No more out of place Windows XP icons. Service Pack 3 will also include updated branding resources created by community member I'm Sword King. If you look closely, you will notice the richer colors of the banner, especially around the area of the Windows flag shown in the banner. This branding supports all SKUs of Windows Vista and Windows Server 2008. Speaking of the Windows flag, if you look down here in the taskbar, you'll notice that winver.exe, which is the program that's currently running, now has its own Windows flag icon, which is just like what you see in Windows 7, which looks much more elegant than the standard icon that was used before, as you can see on the right. Well, that's all the changes that will be shown for today, but other changes to come include integrated NVMe drivers, USB 3.0 drivers, Windows 7 store port drivers, remastered wallpapers and sample media, and more. Stay tuned as Service Pack 3 will hopefully become available within the next year. A video showcasing the installation process, the Service Pack itself, and a download link to the Service Pack will be uploaded on this channel as soon as Service Pack 3 development is complete. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and are as excited as I am to see what the future holds for Windows Vista. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks again.